In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Lankan cat. The Lankan is a very cute miniature cat that is very likely to steal your heart. It is a cross between the Munchkin and Selkirk Rex. The breed is also known as the Nanus Rex, Nanus means dwarf. The Lankan, however, is a more common name for these cats. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Lankan cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Lankan's Breed History the Lankan, which is also referred to as the Nanus Rex, is considered one of the world's rarest cat breeds, thanks to the fact that it is such a new breed. But even though this is a newer breed, the exact dates for its origins are not entirely clear. It is believed that this breed was created in 1987 or 1991 by Terry Harris, who was an American breeder that experimented with breeding a Selkirk Rex and a Munchkin. Her goal was to create a new cat who would be short but would also feature the unique coat of the Selkirk Rex, and that is what she got. Because this feline is a crossbreed and it involves the munchkin, it is one of several dwarf breeds. As a result, there is some controversy surrounding the lankin, whose small stature is the result of a genetic mutation. If you are hoping to introduce a lankin into your household, seeking out a reputable breeder will be important, as doing so could reduce the odds of your kitty having any health issues related to dwarfism. 2. Lankin Cat Breeds Traits These sweet, docile, gentle, calm, and easygoing kitties are known for being affectionate and loving as well. Therefore, they make wonderful family pets. You can expect that a Lankan will get along with everyone, thanks to this breed's tolerant and warm personality. So if you are in search of a friendly cat to call your own, the Lankan will not disappoint. Whether you have other cats, other pets, or children, the outgoing Lankan will fit right in. Because Lankans enjoy being around people and have a social demeanor, it is important to spend plenty of time interacting with your cat. Give this playful and energetic kitty a variety of toys to play with, and make it a point to spend time petting your cat and giving him the attention that he craves. 3. Lankin's Temperament The Lankin has a joyful and docile disposition of the Selkirk Rex and a lively streak of the Munchkin. Even though their legs are short, Lankins are capable of high jumps to beds and chairs. They will usually have no problems climbing to places they are interested in, including your lap. Lankins are not very vocal cats but they will surely let you know if they need something. Overall, these cats make very charming, affectionate, and mellow pets that thrive on human attention and love. They are easygoing and far from being a handful. 4. Lankin's Grooming and Upkeep When your Lankin is very young, it may have straight hair or even no fur at all until it grows its adult coat. Once that's in, the coat should have regular brushing and combing. Claws and teeth also require some attention. Their coats may be dense, but Lankins don't shed a lot except in the spring and fall. Grooming them isn't as difficult as you might think. The basic idea is to remove dirt and dead hair without relaxing the natural curl too much. If you are new to Rex cats, your Lankin breeder can give you tips on grooming. No special grooming tools are needed for Lankins beyond the usual comb and bristle brush. The best cat comb has both fine and wide teeth on it. If your cat is exposed to fleas, a flea comb might also be necessary. Brushes come in different shapes for long hairs and short hairs. Some cats like the plastic grooming glove or pad that massages the skin as well as cleaning the coat. All cats enjoy the slicker brush, but the rows of fine teeth on this tool may be too hard on a lank and silky curls. Short hair should be gently combed and brushed out once a week, and long hairs twice as often. You will have to do this a bit more frequently during shedding season. When you are done grooming, just run your fingers through kitties for a few times to primp up the curls nicely. Lank and short hairs don't need to be bathed unless you are showing them or they get extra dirty. Long hair should be washed occasionally if their coat gets oily or smelly. Be sure to use a cat-safe moisturizing shampoo. Afterward, towel them off, gently comb out the hair, and let your kitty air dry. The curls will come back tight. A blow dryer actually makes the fur frizzy. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. Lankin's Nutritional and Exercise Needs Cats are strict carnivores, they must have meat to survive. They also require other nutrients and just the right balance for a complete diet. Lankin cats are moderately active and get around well on their small legs. Lankins, like other domestic felines, are descended from wild cats. They are fluffy and gentle, but they have inherited the metabolism of a hunter. Lankin cats get most of their energy from protein. They also need amino acids, fats, carbohydrates, and other nutrients. You don't have to be a biochemist to feed your Lankin cat a good diet. 
a serving of any commercial cat food that meets guidelines set by the American Association of Feed Control Officials provides complete and balanced nutrition. Cats do fine on either canned or dry food. Canned food does have more water in it, so if your lankin prefers dry food, be sure to have fresh water available too. It's very tempting to offer kitty treats and table scraps, but this can throw off the dietary balance and lead to obesity. There's no need to ban treats completely but talk with your vet about what to offer your lankin, and how much you should give. Lankin cats can be frisky, especially if you're there to play with them. These nimble kitties go anywhere the big guys can. Short legs don't stop a lankin from climbing up cat trees or getting onto a window seat or a counter, though your cat may take the scenic route to get there. Lankins have a low center of balance. They're also able to speed along after whirling feathers, bell balls, and anything else, even a crumpled paper ball, that triggers their hunting instinct. Lankins are intelligent and enjoy things that make them exercise their minds, like a puzzle that dispenses treats. 6. Lankins Health and Wellness It doesn't hurt to screen your lankin for orthopedic problems because of its short legs. Pedigreed cat breeds tend to have more hereditary illnesses associated with them, so a young lankin should be screened for a few health problems even though its parent breeds are generally healthy. Lankins also need the routine vaccinations required for all domestic cats. Short-legged cat breeds like the lankin can develop deformities of the spine called lordosis, and chest, pectus excavatum, although these are very rare. If it happens and the defect is mild, your lankin can live a normal life. However, in severe cases, both lordosis and pectus excavatum can be life-threatening if not treated. Your veterinarian can screen lankin kittens or young cats for both of these orthopedic issues. Hip dysplasia is sometimes seen in the Selkirk Rex. This skeletal problem can be mild or it may be severe enough to make the cat unable to walk. It hasn't been found in lankin cats yet, but you should check with your breeder that Selkirk Rex cats used in your lankins line have been rated by the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals as having at least fair, but preferably good or excellent hips. Very occasionally, hereditary kidney and cardiac problems have been found in the breeds used to develop the Selkirk Rex. No lankin cat has these issues, but your vet will probably want to screen a young lankin for polycystic kidney disease and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, just to be on the safe side. Not every kitten in the litter will be both short-statured and curly-coated. Even though these kittens make wonderful house pets, they cannot participate in shows and are usually neutered. It is very difficult to get a kitten with all the attributes matching the lankin standards, and this is one of the reasons this breed is very rare. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.